Okay, so we're back in Maya now, and we're just going to have a little look at lighting, okay? Now, um, what we've got here is we've got our camera view, which we animated, if you remember, last time. Um, and what we want to do is we don't want to move around in this camera view, because if we do sort of try and, you know, pan around in here, I've actually locked mine, okay, so we can't do anything. And what you want to do is click that camera, lock camera, because if you don't do that and you start like moving around, you've actually changed the animation, okay? So um, you don't want to, you want to make sure you don't do that, okay? So to be honest, you can close down your camera view, but it's always nice to see um, your, this is the frame you'll be rendering at a specific time. So, you know, I like to keep it open sometimes. Anyway, this is the view we want to orientate around in. It's our, if you see down here, perspective view. And if you can't find it, just go panels, persp. Okay. Now, um, final look at lighting. If we think about the lighting we've got going on, we've got um, two lights at the moment. We've got this sky dome light, okay, and we've got the area light. So, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go pan, I'm going to turn this to my render view. So in panels, I'm going to go panel and render view. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'll keep outline there. Okay. So this is what we've got. This is our current, let's go to frame 250 and let's render that frame. So this is what we've currently got with the two lights on in here. Okay. So let's just let it preview in. Um, so yes, we've got the HDRI light. So it's lighting it from this scene and we've got the area light. So let's just have a look at this. Um, let it preview in. And there we go. Okay, so let's have a look at this. I like this, I like the shadows under here. I like the refraction uh, refractions we got going on within this glass. I like the sort of contact shadows. This chrome could possibly be dialed down a little bit. The reflections are maybe just a little bit too much. Um, plate, I'm loving the plate. It looks like porcelain. Um, okay, so the things I want to look at is this. Right, let's do a render now. So let's keep this image by clicking up here. Now let's go to our area light in the outliner. Remember, just go Windows Outliner if you can't see it. Um, area light, let's hit Shift and H. And that, no, sorry, Control and H. That's now hidden that light. So we click the keep image so we can see our previous one. Now let's render it again. And let's have a look at the difference so we can actually see what that light is actually doing. Um, so let's just let it preview in. And you can, you can possibly already see a bit of a difference. Um, there we go, right. Okay, so let's go before and after. You can see that's the difference. You can see the light on the table and it gives us a little bit more of a shadow. We are currently getting shadows from the sky dome as well, but it just gives us a bit more of a shadow. And also look at the sort of highlights here. Okay, that's kind of quite nice. Now, let's look at the highlights. We've got, that's the area light reflecting there, but we've also got a window over here refracting in the glass, okay? So let's, let's zoom out and look at mine. I'm just trying to get my light as accurate as possible. Now remember, if we turn the area light back on, so Control H, so I shift H. This is where the area light is. However, look behind. Yeah, you have got a light by there, but also you've got a big window light by here, which is getting refracted just by there in the glass. So what I think I want to do is I actually want to move my area light round to where this window is. And you know, you can rotate as well if you want. You can rotate, select the sky dome light, you can rotate this round. Um, it just so happens that my window's over here. So I want to get my area light and let's um yeah basically rotate it like this so remember this line is where the light is pointing from and oh so all over the place but yeah um go a bit like that and let's bring it across to where basically i want to put it where this window is so bring it across to here hit e rotate it around so the light is now shining from where this is and basically that's just more accurate lighting so let's come across here now um, this is with the area light when it was behind the camera this is with no area light now let's save this image as well and do another render with the area light turned back on and it's to the left where the window is all it's going to do is basically make that light more accurate to the scene that we've got going on there. Okay, that's all. That's all that's going to happen. Um, you'll also you'll see a bit of a different look as well. Um, and let's have a look now when this is loaded. Bang in. Right. So this is before, and this is after. So let's delete this image where we turned the light off. I'm just going to come up 
and delete that one. So we're going to jump between the two. I actually think, um, I think this one, the where we've moved it is a little bit more moody. Look at the plate, but there the shadow is coming in on a plate. I think this one's actually a little bit more moody. This is a bit flat. Um, what this, if you look at the table by here, what it does highlight is before this light, when it was behind the camera, was just picking up a highlight by there, and it was actually hiding the seam. Remember in the texture when we UV'd the table, uh, this part by here is separate to this shell, so you can see a seam there. And you know you can go back and you can try and you know change the texture around, or to be honest, what you could do is you could um, with your camera. So let's go back to. You could basically change the angle of your camera. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, because I don't think that's the end of the world. Um, but yeah, you could fix that. But yeah, this is kind of like um, the lighting now. I'm not going to really... You could add... You could add. Look, you could add another light. So let's go um, create... Or let, let's just copy this. Let's just control D, this area light, and pull it back behind the camera. So let's go W and... Let's move it now behind the camera where it was before almost. And let's zoom in. Let's rotate it around because that point, that line has to be aiming towards the, um, the geometry. So tilt it down. And yeah, I think that is probably roughly, yeah, roughly there. And, you know, let's almost line it up actually a little bit with that light but there make it a little bit more orangey okay so um yeah let's first of all let's give this a render so save and i'm just playing around now you don't have to really worry about too much about this but i'm just kind of like seeing right what different things can we go for so this is now rendering with two area lights and the sky dome as well maybe it's too much but we'll have a look now i think it might be a bit um let's just let it render out We've got a nice refraction in here that I like. I really do like that. Um, it's an extra or reflection, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, let's just let that render in. And this was before, this is after. So we've just added that light in there. I don't like that it's kind of taking that shadow out by there, to be honest. Um, I do like what it's adding to the side. So what you could do is you could kind of think, right, shall I try and maybe, um, shall I try and maybe move this down? and um, maybe perhaps point it up a bit and maybe let, well, let's see that again you don't have to copy exactly what i'm doing I'm, I'm purely at this point i am playing around with different looks and seeing what i could get um so let's let this one preview in and we'll see what we have going on i like that the light is kind of catching just by there that's really nice um and I really didn't spend much time lining that up, to be honest. Uh, looks like it's catching a bit by there, which could be quite nice. And just by there on the end of the fork. So let's go before and after. I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> it could be. So this is with, right, let's delete this previous one. So this is with just one area light, and this is where it is now in its new place. And no, it's still taken away from there. Look, I could play around with this all day. You could go to Arnold. If you go to use color temperature, and let's bring this down. This is Kelvin. So if you get a Kelvin chart, I'm just going to go Google this actually. Kelvin light temperature chart. Um, let's go images. I am bringing it across for you now. Um, this is what these numbers mean. So if I go to, um, it's on, what was it on? If I turned it on, 6,500. So 6,500 is around this sort of bluish kind of like daylight. If we wanted some orange indoor light, let's go for 3,000. Let's turn this down now to 3,000. So this area light, this one by here, and we can turn the exposure up to maybe 16 so it gets a bit brighter. Um, this is, is basically simulating sort of orange light, and there is orange light by there on the wall. So let's go in. Let's delete that and let's give it another preview in. It may chuck some sort of orange light towards the scene. Oh yeah, wow, look at that. You can see that instantly. Um, again, probably gonna be a bit strong in it. Um, definitely on there. 
But look, I'm just showing you a few different things that you can kind of play around with. The initial lighting was probably okay. Um, but yeah, just um, bear in mind, you can go for different kind of like looks. And again, when you're doing your sort of product lighting, you just want to play around and see what you can get. Um, this is, if we compare it to before and after, yeah, it's a bit much. So we could probably dial down, what about the color to 2000? No, that's too orangey. What about the color to 4000? and bring us down to 10 and let's save and do another render um yeah guys look it's purely playing around and that actually it may i'm still getting a bit of a shadow there which is quite nice okay so let's look at before and after um let's delete this previous one actually so with and without it's not adding a great deal. I am going to get rid of it, okay? I'm just going with the standard sky dome and the area light for mine, okay? So that, uh, I, I went through lights in that one. You can actually go create and lights. You can create a point light, for example. If you go and do that, you can pull it up and let's just, um, well, let, let's just put it by there, right above the table. Let's let's do a render. Well, first of all, let's go to Arnold, use color temperature, and let's go 4,500, for example. Exposure, let's turn it to four, and let's do a render of that. I don't know what it's going to look like, all right? But let's, let's have a look. <laughs> I can't see any difference, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to turn the exposure up and um yeah it should it'll probably have done something let's just have a quick look when it renders in now by the way when it's rendering what you can do is hit escape and it'll stop so you can still go back to the previous one let's turn exposure up to 10 up to 8 and again what you can do is just render a region you can draw right i just want to render this region okay and let's go to an exposure to 816, just render region. Yeah, sorry, there we go. Right, okay, we know that's a little bit too, too much. Um, 16 exposure on this point light. Um, let's just let it do it. Okay, so let's go say 10, render just that region. What's that gonna look like? Ah, oh, it's looking a little bit nicer. Um, let's now go, let's go down to nine hit enter render that region and maybe let's just increase this to 3500 hit enter and let's just render that specific region and again this is a nice way of working when you're playing around with your light and it's really nice soft light in there isn't it um so yeah let's render the whole thing now and see how it looks together i'm probably not going to keep this light in here i'm purely just showing you that this is another option that you've got um, so play around with these lights, have a, have a go. If you've got something like a, you know, like a candle or something, you, you could look, you could look at this. This is some really nice soft light in here. Um, so yeah, with the soft light, you can see these little lines coming off it. It just kind of like emits from, from a single point outwards. Think of it like a sun, but a lot less powerful. <laughs> so yeah, we got, you know, we've added a little bit of nice light in there. Um, it may not make a great deal of sense why why we've added that, but you know you can't see the whole scenario, the whole the whole scene. So look, play around with these lights. Um, have have a different look. I'm going to delete that. And the the final light that I've gone for is the sky dome and the area light. I've moved across to where this window is. Okay. So yeah, um, I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to go through some final render settings. I'm going to add a back wall. And I'm gonna add, yeah, just I'm gonna add a wall here in the background, and I'm gonna do some render settings, and that's it. And then I'll be doing an extra video actually, show you how to finally batch render. But yeah, I'll see you in that video. Mm -hmm.